Now then, boys from Storm Zone popped in during the week. We talked for about 14 hours. Top men. Top musicians and top people. We kind of chewed over everything and I've cut bits of it up for you. Kicked off by kind of saying it seems to be a really good time to be in that band right now. Seems like that way to me anyway. I'd say it's the best time of all to be in Storm Zone. You know, right now there's a, bit, there's a great buzz about the band, you know, to be to be on the in, in here at City Beat today. Yeah. You know, I think that's testament to how things are going right Absolutely. now. Absolutely. Yeah. There's only two of us here today, but uh, I can assure you all five of us were these smells at the moment. <laughs> I'm sure, yeah. I haven't seen you live yet. But your live reputation definitely precedes you. People say, if you like the band on record, you must see them live. Do you give it a wee bit extra on stage? Or do you see yourself as a live band first and foremost that happens to record? Or all the way around? I think you've nailed it. Do you want to think a lot of people that have listened to us on CD, um, they enjoy what they hear, but when they see us live, they see a, a totally different dimension to the band. Mm -hmm. and, uh, from our perspective, I mean, uh, they us, we write songs that can be recorded and listened to well, but it's important at the same time for them to be delivered live, you know, to, to, to the maximum. Mm -hmm. And the whole ethos is about putting on a show, it's not yeah. about just kind of, we're going to record some stuff and try and sell records, I and mean, it's a very, very difficult thing to do in this in, in, in day and age anyway, you know, but it is all about, about a live performance. It will be worth coming to see. Like. Definitely, and, and in many ways through rock music, for some reason, I mean, to, to people who are not particularly into that music, it's been forgotten about too much over the past few years, do you know what I mean? It's kind of been tucked in a corner, we need to change yeah. that. It's certainly here, in the UK, um, whatever, I mean, we're, we're being looked at as a new new wave of, you know, British Irish heavy metal sort of thing, but as far as we're concerned, I mean, it never went away. It, I know that what you're saying, it being tucked away, but in places like Germany, we're just back from Germany, from doing a quite a large festival over there yeah. and it was like going back yeah. <laughs> it's, it's like 30 years in the past you know everybody's wearing the leather jacket with yeah. the denim cut off with the patches from every band yeah, and it is it's just like it, it's it's like stepping into a time machine you say to them you know thanks for keeping this alive and, <coughs> but it, it never died certainly like publicly in the mainstream and stuff you know oh there's rock music on that's oh my goodness that's not Rihanna you yeah. know what I mean yeah, yeah. Uh, and I feel it's changing again though do you do you think it's sort of cyclical anyway you know yeah. I mean, things will come around unbelievable I mean it's uh, the Em the emblem of the you know the heavy metal fan is the horns up you know yeah. the fingers up and you see you know people like Rihanna you know they're being classed these days as rock music and they're doing the, the horns <laughs> yeah. up and it's like what let's look at your stuff the influences I definitely can hear Iron Maiden I know you won't be annoyed at me saying no, that because no, you're no, probably no, huge no, fans no, and it's no, a good no, it's a really good comparison but who are you listening to in your iPod I think you should start no well, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm a huge Queensryche fan I uh, mm. love listening to um, and most of the bands that I love listening to are, are all that powerful singers that try to you know, yeah. get, grab something from the tram uh, bring in the own singing so, I mean obviously I love Ronnie James Dio mm. Coverdale love White Snake I love Nice no, isn't it funny about White Snake you, you could look back at White Snake and for some reason Every rock fan seems to love White Snake, even though there's been some dodgy, very pop moments and all the rest. Yeah. Why do we have such a soft spot for, for Coverdale? Why, why do we? I think it's a front man thing, you know. I think no matter what, you can have the greatest musicians in the world around you, but if the front man isn't a big personality and a big front man, That's it. you know, it's very difficult to capture an audience without that. It's as well, we've got this man here. Yeah. He's, he's fantastic. He's an amazing speaking voice, Coverdale, too, isn't it? He, he could be the voice yeah. of our king if I had yeah, a dress up for him, you know? Well, he's absolutely. developed that over, over because I remember, you know, from, from the early days of White Snake, but he's a song for ya. That's and right, and yeah. yeah. Oh, well, I was yes, right. right. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. James yeah. Bond. He sounds like Bond. Bond. <laughs> <laughs> That's so true. Yeah. <laughs> Not a bad song, Dave. What do you reckon? Glad you like it. So the rumor has it you like it anyway. It's it's. I'd heard from from a distance that you're. Yeah. It's uh, no, quite stuff. a maiden feel, don't you think? Definitely does. That sort of. Yeah, I must ask you, as a bad guitar player myself, right? Really? What, what's your What's your favorite weapon of choice? Now, what's What's your your favorite guitar in your arsenal? I said Arsenal, by the way. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> anybody? <laughs> yeah, anybody that knows me knows I'm the Charvel Strat guy. Right. You know, I've got a collection of nine of them. Um, nice. Currently playing a seven-string custom shop. There's just a, it's a kind of a one-off. You, you know, see, that's just showing off seven It strings, is showing you know off. I know. I have no idea what the seven <laughs> strings for. It's just I struggle with the top it's string. It's there to seven. pretend that it's, you know that I know how to play with six. But yeah, yeah they're all Charvel Strats. Basically, you know, hot rod fenders. It's a good chance to sort of shop each other in this one. What sort of poses does Dave pull on? Is the, is the foot up in the monitor all the time? Absolutely. He just looks at me and just, you know, follows the, the leader. <laughs> <laughs> There's a chance, Dave. Jump back in there. Now. Tell me, who does this man remind you of on stage? Oh, here. <laughs> I, don't think, I don't know if I can answer I that. <laughs> <laughs> but, 
<laughs> well, that's, that's we had an Aussie Osborne moment tw- actually twice, but they, you know, they, they, they oh, yes, get yes. the guitar player yeah. by the hair. <laughs> you know, however, it'd be a good idea if you would tell me before you did that. You know. <laughs> Please tell me before you did. <laughs> I'm going to grab by the hair. Grab me by the hair, and I can. It's, 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 it's okay. part of the show. No, it's just anger, isn't it? It's like you said it wrong again. <laughs> Which, of course, does not happen. Never, never happens. Never, never happens. happens. No, no, never Especially happens. those hot rod fenders you've got. Never happen. All right, to wrap up now, we've done enough of that storm zone stuff, haven't we? You don't yes, want to hear any more yes, of that, do you? Not. So, um, who will we go for? Who are we in the mood for? I think yeah. some Ozzy Osbourne sounds we'll like it. That would hit the spot with me. Mm, right. Biggest Oz. influence. Huge fan. Biggest yeah. influence. I was going to play a Sabbath track, but, but Dio, as in Mob Rules, but you've changed your mind. Should we go vintage, just old Sabbath? Absolutely. Should Again. we do one of the obvious ones, but not Paranoid? You know the other one I'm talking about? Two words. Iron Man. Yes. Hey. Should we do that? Absolutely. Let's do it. Okay. Now, do you want to do the Aussie bit at the start when it goes, I am Iron Man? <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> I am Iron Man. Storm Zone, it's been a pleasure. You take care. Have a brilliant time at that gig. We'll see you soon anyway. Thank you very Same much. Thanks, thanks very much for having us, John. Thanks for giving us the opportunity of speaking to uh, the heavy metal fans on City Beat. Thank you, John.